Hi there, how are you going? Hope you're all well. I'm William Kensington 25. Been quite a long time since I've put myself on camera anyway here in Sydney. With me right now is Saint Fletcher, one of my good friends from YouTube. How are you, Saint? G'day, it's the Saint here, coming at you loud and proud, more so than the penalty bastard. It's like salt here, skin here. Yeah. What shall we talk about? I'm totally stuck for subjects to talk about. So am I. Um, we were just talking before about the Perth Gathering, which um, you didn't know about. Um, apparently, um, I only just found out about it last night. I, I went on to Angry Aussie's channel and there's a Perth Gathering coming up. I think it's October 29 or something like that. It's coming up pretty soon. So, yeah, I'm trying to look through my accounts and work out, oh, can I afford it? Tiger Airlines or something for me. But uh, that's really interesting, Perth. I haven't been there for so long now. It's been about nine years for me. It's an absolutely beautiful city. I love the Swan River in Perth, Frio, Fremantle. Very friendly city. Uh, about 40% of British immigrants actually moved to WA, Western Australia. But I never knew about this gathering, but I'm really tempted to go. There's also one in Adelaide in November that I'd like to go to. Never been to South Australia. And there's one in Gosford coming up, which is a little bit more local. But do you know much about the Perth gathering? I only know from what I saw from um, Angry Aussie's channel. Um, it's, it sounds like it, it sounds like it's an official YouTube gathering this year because we haven't had one yet. So Angry Aussie's behind. Well, he's one of the people who's backing well, he's promoting it. it. So, um, so I would imagine that it's a, um, it's it's going to be a, a, a an official gathering. I would imagine. I might be wrong. So I think they had one a, a small gathering in Perth around June or July, I think, if I'm right in thinking. Which would be very sensible because you have to evolve a local um, group before, you know, something works. Um, one thing with Sydney, before we had the Sydney gathering, is we didn't really evolve a group in Sydney. And one of the challenges that we had was finding our own group. and. We were relying on other states to organise the Sydney gathering, and I know for um, English Tea Boy, high English Tea Boy, it was really a challenge to have a, a major gathering when we hadn't had anything in Sydney other than there was a YouTube party which YouTube itself organised. You know. And I think the great thing about a Perth gathering is that what people in Australia often don't realise, outside Australia rather, is how big Australia is. And it's quite easy for people in Melbourne or Sydney or Queensland or Brisbane to meet, even though that's quite a distance. But Perth is five hours flight from somewhere like Sydney or Melbourne. So it's not easy for people from Perth or WA to come over to the gatherings in the east of Australia where most stuff happens. So I think it's a great idea. It would be great if the airlines could give a discount airfare or something like that if it was actually sponsored by an airline that would be fantastic that get a lot more people to Perth likewise for us it is difficult for us to get to Perth it's like going to another country it's cheaper to for us to go to Singapore or to Vietnam or somewhere than it is to Perth that's how indeed. big Australia is indeed um, and uh, so um, we have to really go through the internet to find bargain airfares to get there. And just to give a comparison to Europeans, five hours flight is approximately London to Athens, and remember London to New York is only six hours, so you are almost flying to a different continent. Five hours is a long flight. So it's important that people all over Australia get together, know people in their area, but also unite across the country. So I hope as many people from Eastern Australia will, if they can, go to Perth. I know it's expensive, but if you can, it would be great to sort of Give out that olive branch, you know, go out there, unite, bond a little bit and say hello to all those Australians on the western coast. I'm looking forward to seeing the ocean and the sunset um, on the east coast. Um, I love the water and the seascapes and we, the sun does not set over the water in the east coast but in Perth, because of the Indian Ocean is west, the sun actually sets into the ocean and it looks completely different to anything we've got on the east coast. I look forward to seeing that, um, whether it's Fremantle or um, Rottnest Island or wherever. And Margaret River, I'd really want to see that. There's, there's a whole lot of stuff that I, I haven't seen. I've, I've been to Perth before, but there's still a lot of stuff I haven't seen in Perth. And uh, something as simple as a sunset just um, I find really appealing, you know? I want to see their famous black swans. When I was in Perth nine years ago, I never saw these black swans, but apparently they are there. They're a big symbol of Perth and Western Australia. I can't believe you've never seen a black swan. Do they really exist? 
Yes, of course they do. I want to see a black swan. I've got to see a black swan. I can't believe you've never seen a black swan. I can't believe I've never seen a black swan, but I definitely want to go to Perth. I, I'm actually, the more I'm talking now, the more certain I am, but I'm probably going to go. Um, there's another, set, as I say, there's another gathering soon in Adelaide and one in Tell Gosford. Tell me more about the one in Adelaide. I, what, do, you know, do you know what it's called? I don't know what its name is. It's sometime in late November, mid to late November. I really want to go. I think people like Sammy will be there, Aussie Ninja, and a few others from that part of the world. But it will be brilliant. The Gold Coast one I enjoyed. The Sydney one last year I enjoyed. The one in Melbourne in 2007. So there's some great gatherings. I mean, nobody is duty bound to go to a gathering if you don't want to, so no pressure. But if you can make one, they can be a lot of fun. I think that's a very important point, is that um, um, because we're partners... Um, oh my God, there's a... Uh, You've been heckled. A, there's a galah that's just flown behind flaming, me. Flaming galah. <laughs> How ironic. Um, look, no one should feel obliged to go to a gathering. It is not, I mean, there should not be a roll call. You go to a gathering because you want to go. And much like YouTube itself, you know, you don't upload YouTube thinking that you're going to be a star or as some sort of um, a numbers game for subscriptions. You do it for fun because you enjoy it, because you want to. And I think if, if, if we start to get to the idea that you, you're going because you feel you have to go, like, like going to church or something, then the whole spirit of the whole thing is really spoiled. If you, if you only go if you really want to go. I totally agree. People go on YouTube for different reasons. Some of us like the attention, we have a bit of an ego, and we love to meet other YouTubers. Others do it for their own reasons. They've not, got no great interest to go to a gathering. And nobody's duty bound to go to one. There shouldn't be any pressure. Go to a gathering because you want to go and you want to have fun. Go for the right reasons. And I go because I enjoy them. But above all, it gives me a chance to visit power places in Australia I might not usually go to. And I do videos in those places and I make friends and I meet new people. For me, it's a community. That's why I go. We've all got our reasons for going. So if you can make a gathering, do go. Check them out. If it's for you, brilliant. If it's not, then brilliant too. I'm sorry to hear that. But only go if you want to and never feel pressured into going to one. Absolutely. And I, I enjoy the gatherings because um, I know the you, the other YouTube people. I, I, I love all their channels and people are so talented on YouTube um, with, in different ways. Um, some technically, um, some people have uh, incredibly huge personalities and some have, have some acting background, you know, and but everyone has a completely different angle. It's, 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 it's so diverse, and to actually meet them in person is really interesting. I totally agree, and I think that's a great thoughts on it. There's some great sentiments there. I love the variety. You can find something for anybody on YouTube. If there's a place I want to visit, I'll Google the name. Somebody's probably done a travel thing on it. If there's a subject I want to learn about, somebody's probably done a teaching video or documentary on it. If I want to see some funny clips, there's a blooper videos on YouTube. It really is something for every single person out there. There's such variety, such colour and such vibrance. And I think that is the great thing about YouTube. What you want is there and it's there when you want to watch it. Absolutely. And if anyone in um, Johannesburg is watching, Perth is actually um, the cheapest place for you to travel to in Australia. I know it's a lot cheaper for them to go to Perth than it is to Sydney, as you can imagine. It'd be interesting to see if any South Africans are interested in going to Perth. You know, you are most welcome to come to Australia to a YouTube gathering. I, I think that would be wonderful. Or anyone from Singapore. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I think it's great to get our neighbours in. I have flown twice from Perth to Johannesburg, and it's a long flight, but it is the nearest place. I remember I was on the beach in Durban, and it's the Indian Ocean. It's facing Western Australia. I remember looking out thinking, thousands of miles out there, thousands of kilometres, there is Western Australia. So anybody in South Africa or Singapore or Thailand, in Indonesia, wherever, or New definitely New Zealand, let's not forget New Zealand, if you can get to the Gosford, Adelaide or Perth gatherings, please do come along. You'll be more than welcome. Well, for New Zealand, Sydney's the closest, but uh, um, there's plenty of Melbourne mini gatherings for the New Zealanders. And um, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll look out for New Zealand for their, their next gathering. Well, thanks, Fletcher. Hope to see all of you at one of the gatherings. Have a great time, whatever you're doing. I hope you're staying well, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you all the same.